Well, hi everyone. This is my review of the Acoustic Research PW1000 Power Console. We'll start with an overview of the hardware and the connections, and then we'll take a look at the inside and show what the internal construction looks like. Well, I think it's an attractive unit. It has a matte black finish everywhere except for the front, which is a shiny plastic. The lower part has a flip down front panel showing off the connections. It has a power switch on the front that switches six of the outlets in the back. It has two power outlets in the front and two USB powered outlets. These are the speed pass connections that allow you to connect things on the front panel and pass them straight through to the back where you have things connected to a receiver or to a TV. It also has an input here for a headphone jack for like an iPod. And this is an output for a, a Ethernet plug from the Ethernet switch which is on the, the back side. So let's take a look at that now. It has a nice long thick power cord, three prong outlet. It has two sets of inputs and outputs for cable connections or antenna feeds. It has eight outlets here on the back, six of which are switched. Here's the ethernet switch with one input and three outputs. And these are those speed pass connections for the connections on the front. And here are the connections that connect to a receiver or TV on the back side. So let's flip it back around and take a look at the front panel light. So I've plugged it in and I've also closed the blind so that you can see the light that I'm about to show you. This front panel here is it's dark but it's see-through. You can see the power light here and there's also a couple over here that are much dimmer. The part I wanted to show you is that when you flip this down, this whole area becomes illuminated, which is nice when you're trying to find things, but you're going to flip this panel down so that you can make connections which means this is going to be open the whole time when you have something connected like say you want to connect up a game panel or whatever at night well this thing is going to be lit up in your room it's, it's activated by this small little toggle switch right here but just to be aware that unless you say put tape over the top of this which would be real easy to do uh, you are going to see it whenever this panel is down so let's take a look on the inside of this so here's the unit with the cover removed it's actually pretty easy to get the cover off. There's just a set of screws that are all the same size on the, the sides of the unit in the back. Once you pull those out, the cover slides right off. I just have it set off to the side here. So here's a look uh, at the unit and on the inside. Just a refresher. Uh, you have some power outlets on the front, uh, your Ethernet, and your speed pass units. I was curious to see a couple of things. One was if everything had a common ground. So first, uh, quick look at the color coding. So here's your power cord coming into the unit. Uh, there's a white, black, and green cable that come out of it, comes out of it. The green is the ground. Uh, I wanted to check and also show to you guys that all the back outlets, the front outlets, and the cable outlets all have a common ground, which is a nice thing because if you have ever had a ground loop in your system uh, due to a cable or an external antenna coming in from the outside, uh, having these grounded to the same thing you plug your TV and receiver into can solve that problem because it has a common ground. That's nice. Uh, all of the outlets uh, run through this same set of electronics here which is surge protection and power conditioning. Uh, here's the front uh, circuit board that has the lights which I believe are these two connections. I'm going to unplug those and see if it shuts the lights off. Um, I also was curious whether or not the speed pass, which again runs from the jacks on the front to these jacks here on the back, if they just had round wire cables running to it, but it looks like they actually have a circuit board. I'll see if I can show that off to you here. Well, getting to this level of disassembly is a little bit more complicated because you have to take this metal tray out that sits underneath and this is mounted on top of it. So you have to unscrew this and that and then slide it out. It's a little more complex, but now you can see what's underneath here better. So here's your Ethernet switch circuitry. I thought they might have round wires going from the front speed pass ports to the back, but they have a circuit card. Might make assembly a little bit easier. I don't think it's necessarily better for you as the consumer. I mean, it's not worse. It's just a little cleaner installation. So here's your um, the analog connections going forward and back. Uh, here's your HDMI and USB on this circuit board here. Showing that off. 
none of those appear to have any sort of uh, surge protection or power conditioning uh, from the front to the back. Uh, not that you need it, just showing that it doesn't necessarily have it. And finally, just a look at the front USB power port connections. So hopefully you can see them here, point them out to you. And those are connected up to uh, this area here underneath the plastic. They just have an internal transformer to convert it to the USB. Well, that's the end. Thanks very much for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave a comment and I'll respond as soon as I can. Thanks.